Hey everyone, we're here at the Equip Expo 2022. I'm here at the DeWalt display with Mike Mahan and your title? I'm the product manager for Commercial Electric at Stanley Black & Decker. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at what's new here. I'll just follow you around and if you can please just explain. Absolutely. So what we have here on our side right now is the brand new DeWalt Ascent. It's a battery commercial series mower. Back here you can see where the batteries go. You would open this store and you can fit up to five of the power equipped batteries into there. One power equipped battery weighs roughly 45 pounds. It's 60 volt, 3.2 kilowatt hours. So by getting five batteries into the rear of the machine, you can get a total of 16 kilowatt hours at a time. But because it is a removable battery system, that doesn't stop. You don't have to wait for the machine to charge back up. If you have additional batteries on hand, you can slide them quickly and easily out of the back of the machine and populate fully charged batteries to continue mowing that day. Okay, yeah, how about we take a, can we take a look inside? We'll take a look so here. So okay. look inside the battery bay. Right now, you, from the rear of the machine, this is what it would look like. You can open it up, soft closed door. From there, simply quick and release the battery. It's all ergonomical from here. You slightly bend your knees, lift at the wrist. You don't need to lift the battery above your uh, chin or shoulders, so it reduces some shoulder fatigue throughout the day. So from there, you can see that you can run the machine with three batteries. You actually need one battery to operate the drive, two batteries to function the deck, and then three, four, five batteries get you additional runtime throughout the day. Okay. This is a prototype cart right now. Come back next year, we'll have a little bit of changes on it. But you can see it has a charge port back here on the rear just like the unit so that if you do have additional batteries whether at your shop or in your enclosed trailer you can charge them here as well so if we have five batteries how long approximately would it take to with, charge with the standard charger it will take 12 hours to fully charge five batteries we will have an aftermarket charger available that cuts that down to six hours okay. standard charger is 120 volt fast charger is a 220 volt so over here with the ascents C60, you can walk around the unit, you can tell that it was built from the ground up. Completely did everything from the wheels up to the ROPS, including the deck. We could have easily grabbed one of our Cub Cadet Pro decks or Hustler Pro deck, but then that would have some runtime negativities. So by focusing on how airflow works in the blade design with the HE2 with high efficiency technology, we're able to deliver a landscaper approved cut as well as runtime. Okay, so there's no belts on this, these are motors. There's no belts, direct drive. This will be one of the largest motors in the industry on commercial electric units. It's five kilowatts of power. You're not running at five kilowatts the entire time. It's just there and when you need it. So in the spring, when traditional units would start to bog down, this unit would actually increase its power automatically and help you get through that. Okay. So from there, you can get onto the machine multiple ways. You can get on from the front of the oh, unit and step right on. That's nice. Or you can come along to the side of the deck where we have a stand plate as well to step and get into there. Okay. Four point deck. So on this side here, you do have the charge port door. The charger's over here behind us. We can show that in a little bit. From there, you'll have cup holders, phone storage, and a USB charge port right next to there. And here's where the C60 really takes its effect. On my right hand side, I have an electric deck lift switch. Next to that, your PTO switch and a key switch. On your left hand side, you have ground speed, max speed of 12 miles per hour, but you can adjust this to be 10, eight, or six. This just changes your max speed. You still have variable speed in your controls. Next to that, you have a cutting mode button. We have three cutting modes available. Eco, standard, and turbo. I like to look at them as the seasons. Yeah. In the summertime, when it's dried out grass, you're just maintaining, put it into eco mode to improve your run time. You'll probably be in standard most of the season, and then in the spring when it's really thick, wet, lush grass, throw that into turbo and get it down in one pass. So from there, we've heard from landscapers that the pins in their ROPS is a ROP systems can be a little difficult, mm -hmm. so we've taken it to the next level with new cam locks. Oh, they, cool. As soon as you pull them out, they stay unlocked, you roll them up, and they self-lock into place. Oh, nice. From there, I mentioned the controls next to them. As you drop these controls down, everything you need to operate the unit stays with them. You open up your controls, flip up the seat, now you have a sit-down product in less than 30 seconds and without tools. So I, I've had some people ask, what? What are some circumstances where you're going to want to switch from one to the other? Would it be just if you're doing a property that's so, going to be like over an hour, you're going to be tired? Then absolutely. Like, so it could be based on the operator whether 
uh, if they get fatigued and they would rather sit than stand, it could be based on the property. There's properties that you need to stand on or a sit down as opposed to using one for everything. So instead of putting a sit down or a stand on trailer throughout the day and you have one unit being underutilized throughout the day, mm -hmm. you're paying for a unit maintenance and service on something that you're not utilizing 100%. By putting it into one platform, you now eliminate that and you're using 100% efficiency. All right, so this will have all the benefits of a stand on. So if you're trying to like mow underneath those low trees that have branches that will snag you, if you're standing back here mowing, you can get underneath them easier than you can if you're sitting in the seat right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So just like a guest or an electric stand-on product, you can stay behind the machine, get the front of the vehicle underneath that tree, get the deck swing around, and keeping the branches away from you. Okay. Um, so to convert, can you convert one more time? I just want to see how fast it would take to convert to. Absolutely. So if we start now, we would be in the stand-on operation. Simply come to the back, drop the handles down, open them up, flip your seat. Then if you're on uneven train and you want the ROP systems up, simply fold them up and close. And you're ready to go that Ready fast. to mow. And we can put it back down in the same amount of time, same process, just in reverse, and pull them back together. Wow, that's awesome. As I mentioned, all the controls stay with you. We also have the operator display that yep. shows critical information about the unit mm -hmm. in real time. To the left, you have what deck cutting mode you're on. To the right is your indication about what ground speed you're in, how much battery percentage you have in total, and then the life for each individual battery that's populated into the machine at that time. In the middle here is an efficiency gauge. So if you are in the springtime and you're trying to cut in either eco mode or standard, and you're really loading down the deck, this needle is going to pin out. The operator can see that in both positions, and they know that they need to either increase their blade speed or decrease their ground speed to have a precision cut. Okay, wow, that's smart. And then the official name of this mower, the Ascend. This is the DeWalt Ascent C60. And then over here behind me is the DeWalt Ascent R60. Okay. C stands for crossover technology. The R is a sit only traditional lap bar style machine. Okay, so we're gonna check that one out next. Okay, so this is gonna be a unit that will be like in your garage. Yep, and so this is our standard charger for the Ascent series mowers. Has an EV style connection with the proprietary DeWalt port. You can use this to plug into the machine or into the off-board charge cart that we showed earlier. Same charger for both. The standard charger is 1200 watts, so that'll charge a full five batteries from zero to 100% in 12 hours. We will have a aftermarket fast charger available that cuts that charge time in half to six hours. The standard charger is 110 or 120 volt outlet. Okay. The fast charger will be a 220 or 240. Okay. This is the underside of the HE2 or high efficiency technology deck. We built it from the ground up with battery in mind as well as the commercial landscaper in mind. Our X pattern blade is delivering double the passes at the same time that a single blade would. So you're covering more grass at the time. We really focused on airflow with this to help save on the battery runtime. So we're circulating air throughout this while we're mowing to get clean dispersion of grass during the cut. From can you, there, can you, can you spray underneath that at all with, with water? So one of the benefits of the Ascent R60 and C60 is they will have water resistance. You'll be able to mow in the rain, you'll be able to trailer them in the rain. Oh. You can pressure wash the entire unit. We didn't want to compromise and ask people to use a rag or compressed air to clean units that can get sticky grass on them. So cleaning is just as you would today. Okay, well that's good to know. Standard uh, striping roller kit will come with the units. They will be adjustable so you leave a pristine path behind you. From there, we've shown them already, but these are the uh, DeWalt 5 kilowatt deck motors. That's cool having a stripe deck on it already. Okay, so now we're in front of the other mower. This is the R60. Correct. This is the Ascent R60. The specs between the R60 and C60 are very similar. The main difference really is being the convertibility of the C60 from stand to sit in 30 seconds. The R60 is a more traditional CZT with lap bars. Okay, so everything that we talked about in the, the specs, the deck and the features on the other one will be similar in this one right here, just not you know. Without the, the conversion. conversion. Okay. Correct. All right. Well, Mike, thank you so much for all your time. Thank and you very much. Yeah, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll see what I can answer, or if I need to find something out, I know how to reach you. Thank you. So, all right.
Okay, so I'm here with Christine Potter in your title. Yes, I'm president of our outdoor business at Stanley Black & Decker. Okay, so I wasn't around here two days ago when there was a fire that happened. Um, was this exact mower or? It was a prototype of this mower, a single unit. Okay, yeah. and I know some people watching are probably just gonna wonder what happened or if you had anything to say about it. Sure, so first and foremost, no one was injured, which we are so thankful for, and also thankful for everyone here at the show who helped in responding. Um, our next step is to take that single prototype, we'll take it back to the uh, back to the lab and uh, take a look at it. And we still have about a year before this mower goes into production, so okay. everything will be, be addressed. Okay, so we there love plenty of time to... Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, was it the battery itself? That, we, we honestly don't or you know. you just have to figure that yeah. out? Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll take it home, we'll do the diligence, and you know, we love coming to the show and bringing early samples with us because, you know, the landscaper's feedback is so important to our development process. Yeah. And so we love getting people's hands on it okay. and uh, being able to give us feedback on our products. Okay, so then next year we should see this, everything worked out and Absolutely. ready to run. So yeah. yeah, I plan on being here next year, so I'm looking forward to seeing how everything works and giving it a try. Yeah, thank you so much for your support and thank you for stopping by. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. All right.